Coming up, history might be made as the Bantamweight title will be on the line, well, at least for one of the two fighters. Jonathan? Yeah, Alfred Kashakian came in three pounds overweight, was unable to make the limit for the title, so Albert Morales, the only one qualified to walk away the lights out Bantamweight champion tonight. Look at the tail of the tape. Kashaki in three years, the elder of Morales. All the other stats pretty much the same except for the weight differential. This one should be a toss up. Hi, my name is Albert the Warrior Morales, and I'm from Reseda, California. My backstory is kind of different. You know, I, I kind of grew up in the streets fighting and stuff like that. No real traditional martial arts experience. I ended up going to jail. Um, missing the birth of my daughter, that's kind of what flipped my switch. Being in jail um, wasn't really the problem. You know, being in jail, I, I was, I kind of had that in my mind with that, that's kind of the lifestyle I was gonna live. But when um, going to jail while my girlfriend was uh, pregnant, that was a little different because um, I had something to come out to. My father wasn't really around, so for me not to be around, that kind of hit me hard. I, I have two kids. I have uh, my seven-year-old, Alessa Morales, and then I have my three-year-old now, Ava Morales. My kids are everything that I do. I, all I fight is for my kids and, and my family, and so they're, they're my motivation, and I appreciate them. Things that I thought about while I was in jail, just, just what am I gonna do with my life, you know? Am I just gonna sit here and just kinda rot like all my other homies, you know? So the moment I decided that I wanted to be an MMA fighter, it was store day. Once in a while, they let us, uh, sit down and eat our store, especially on store days, and they'll leave the TV on a little bit longer. And uh, for some reason, one day they actually let the, the Ultimate Fighter come. I don't know what guard messed up, but they left it on. Usually they don't want them on because they don't want us to get all riled up and fight. But I was watching, I was like, you know what? I think I can do that. I think when I get out, I'm gonna do that. Coming from zero martial arts experience, that, that, that beginning process was kind of a mystery to me. So I just went on Google and I looked up MMA gyms, found the closest one, which was right down the street. Thank God uh, they saw how hard I worked. They allowed me to work for my tuition because I, I, you know, I had never had a job at that point. And they allowed me to t um, teach and clean the gym just so I can train. And uh, I, I hit the ground running. The more I was there, the faster I learned. And I, I realized that there was just tournaments, so I started trying to compete as much as I can. And then eventually meeting my first head coach, Coach James Teal. I fight for a bunch of reasons, man. Um, obviously, the first one being my, my family. Second, I'm not gonna lie, you know, I, I have a lot of pride and I want to be known as the best fighter in the world, at least in my division. But also, man, Team Warrior, I got a bunch of people. I don't call them fans, I call them family because they're literally my support system. I, I teach, um, they train with me, and, and I do it for them too because they take the time, they take their money, and they come out and they support me. So just a whole big ecosystem. Currently, I'm training to take out Alfred, the fearless, his head, at, uh, lights out, first event. Um, I know that guy is a monster. I'm expecting him to be the most hungry, most prepared Alfred, because I'm gonna be the most hungry, most prepared Albert. So that's what I'm preparing for, the best him, because I'm gonna be the best me, and I'm gonna take that belt regardless. I'm honored and proud to fight for Lights Out. These guys have been in the game forever, and those guys have been putting it down for Southern California, especially our part of California. Now we're about to make this thing a banger. I'm proud to be the first Bantamweight champ there, and I'm about to put it down for you guys. Thank you. Making his way to the cage, Alberto Morales. Alberto the Warrior Morales. An opportunity to make history, to become a champion. And it was MMA that really turned the Warriors' life around. He was sitting in jail, MMA came on. He said, when I get out, that's what I want to do. He wanted to fight for his wife, for his child. Now he's got two beautiful children and a chance to make them proud and call himself a champion. Former UFC bantamweight contender Albert Morales looking to take another step to get back to that level. 50% of his victories on the ground by submission, but he also has a 22nd knockout victory to his credit. This guy's dangerous everywhere, coming off of a win over Carlos Puente. Yeah, Albert Morales, a very well-rounded mixed martial artist. Good takedowns working over at Black House MMA with bold wrestling, excellent wrestling pedigree, good Brazilian jiu-jitsu working out of the Carlson Gracie School. But this guy likes to brawl with the best of them, so don't expect 
this don't be surprised when this mixed martial arts fight turns into a Donnie Brook. And how do you think it'll affect the psyche of these two fighters? A for Morales, he knows he's still got his shot. But for Kashakian coming in, does he have a chip on his shoulder? Does it make it more more aggressive that he can't win the title? Or you know, is there a bit of a letdown for Kashakian? You know, these guys aren't nine to five workers. They have one job, and that job is to first make weight. So Kasakian did not step on the scales of the contract and weight that was first agreed upon. And quite frankly, he doesn't deserve to win a title. So Morales has a, Morales has a great chance to win the fight. It's a 50-50 fight. And we'll see if uh, Kasakian psych is in the right place after losing the title on the scales. History has an opportunity to be made here in the lights out cage. Bantamweight title on the line for that man. My name is Alfred Kashakian. I'm from Glendale, California. Well, uh, originally I was from Armenia. I moved out here when I was one. Um, around the age of eight, I started doing gymnastics, but it didn't cut it for me, so I started doing karate after a year. Uh, and after that, I started fighting at the gym. Every Saturday, I had a bloody shirt. Uh, eventually, went to Muay Thai at the age of 16. And then at the age of 20, I started competing in MMA. Uh, my family moved out from Armenia to America for a better life. It was tough in Armenia, trying to uh, survive on a daily basis. Uh, seeing my parents you know, working hard every day, uh, trying to provide for our family, it gives me the motivation to you know, become a professional champion and you know, uh, put a name out there for myself. I'm definitely living the American dream. Well, other than fighting, I definitely coach, you know, uh, having 20 years of experience, having a bachelor's degree in human performance. I do a lot of kickboxing classes, MMA classes, a lot of private training. You know, it's a means of making money on the side. It's tough for an MMA fighter out here. Why I fight is more of who I am, you know. It's a lifestyle. Growing up, I watched too many Bruce Lee movies, too many Jackie Chan movies, and just, I fell in love with it. And since nine years old, I've been having a bloody shirt every Saturday sparring session, so. It's just who I am, I can't just stop. I can't not do anything else, I just gotta fight. I'm engaged, but definitely looking forward to getting married in the future. And she grew to be a big fan of mine. I can always hear her screaming, you know. Her, her voice is the only one except my coaches I hear at their cage when I'm fighting. Uh, she's definitely a motivation, but fighting, I, it's something more internal. Um, I just do what I have to do and people see it and they cheer on and become a fan and then seeing my family out there my fiance out there is just definitely a good motivation the goal is to be a complete MMA fighter so people are thinking if they try to take me down they gotta think twice before that biggest fear um, I don't have any fear because my nickname is the fearless <laughs> well currently I'm training for lights out except for May 11 I'm trying to get that second strap for the lights out uh, banner title and then hopefully move on to a better ranking Lights Out Extreme Fighting, it looks like it's a big event. Uh, they look like they're putting on a good show on Fox, so I'm really excited. I'm, I'm gonna be the king on that show. The fearless Alfred Kashakian opportunity to play spoiler. Now, Jonathan, correct me if I'm wrong, obviously Kashakia not eligible to win the Bantamweight title, but should he win this fight, he puts himself in number one contender status. Absolutely, he's gonna be in prime position if he walks away from this fight with a victory, although he will not have the title around his waist. It would be hard pressed to find another more eligible contender for that shot should Kashakian walk away with the victory tonight. Alfred, the fearless Kashakian, eight victories. Guess what, gentlemen? All eight victories by knockout, six of them in the very first round. Yeah, he's got very dangerous hands. He likes to throw them around, and when he does, they tend to make an absolute mess inside the cage. Lightning quick and extremely powerful. A pure athlete. Phenomenal bout on paper. We'll see if these two can live up to the hype. Go, 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 go. 
Burbank, this next bout is being sponsored by Nazo Boxing and scheduled for three five-minute rounds and will be for the LXF Bantamweight title, the man in charge of the action once the bell sounds, Mr. Larry Landless. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner to my left, wearing the black trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at 134 pounds even, with a professional record of eight wins, only five defeats, one draw, out of Reseda, California. Please welcome Alberto, the warrior. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner to my right, wearing the burgundy trunks with the black trim. He weighed in at 138.2 pounds. He has a professional record of eight wins, four defeats out of Glendale, California. Here is Alfred, the fearless Kashuki. Piercing reception there for Kashaki. Barely hear ourselves speak. This high profile bout inside the lights out cage. Kashakian in the red, taking on Morales in the black. Family title on the line for one, Albert Morales. Here we go. I've been chomping at the bit, waiting for this one for weeks. Warrior chant breaks out for Albert Morales. Even Steven on paper, even Steven when it comes to crowd support as well. Shakian stalking as Morales circles to his right. Neither fighter willing to engage yet. Oh, Kashakian touched him with a nice jab there. But here comes Morales. Nice one-two punch up the middle by Albert Morales. And looks to follow up. Shockey landed a sh short right hand over the top. I think it's safe to assume that that feeling out process is over, fellas. Morales already showing some signs of wear on the eye. But he lands a nice right hand. Back and forth we go. This one's turning into a brawl. Kashakian has finished everybody, all his victories by knockout. A standing affair, affair thus far. Bad intentions with every punch. The jabs by Kashakian, followed by a right. As both squarely in the center of the cage. And now Kashakian starting to blitz behind the jab. On the button, though, by Morales. The warrior Albert Morales throwing just as hard as Albert Alfred Kashakian in here. Don't blink watching at home. This one could end in a heartbeat. Is, is Morales so potentially playing into the game plan of Kashakian? Morales has got four victories by submission on the ground. Would you want to trade with somebody that's got eight knockout victories? Yeah, on paper, Morales does have the pedigree to bring the fight to the ground, but you and I both know once that cage door closed, you can throw the paper away. Strategies go to the wayside, especially when you find yourself involved in a brawl, which is exactly where Albert Morales finds himself now. It's certainly a place where Morales is comfortable. Oh, he got clipped. Short left hand from Kashaki and got him. Desperation takedown attempt. Smelling blood in the water was fearless Kashakian, but weathering the storm for the moment was Morales, but got turned inside out. Oh, nice right hand from Morales. Turning into rock'em, sock'em robots, as you like to say, partner. Both of these guys are having their moments. Standing eyeball to eyeball, we're waiting to see who's gonna blink first. Nice body kick from Kashakian. This thing quickly turning into a grand finale of a fireworks show. Another shot by Kashakian. <laughs> Top.
title on the line for Morales. Bragging rights and a future opportunity on the line for Kashakian. Kashakian starts to pick him apart. Oh, another big right hand club Morales. He's all weak legs. Punches Could and punches. Could be in soon, boys. Is the referee going to step in here? No. Morales is going to take that with nothing there. That's going to be it. Listen to this place. It's gone crazy. Kashakian playing spoiler. Let's take a look back at the action, and my, oh my, there was a lot of it. Yeah, that was a crisp, short left hand, put Morales on his butt, blood in the water. Kashakian, like a shark, swarms. Morales charging forward like the warrior he is, but here's where he got in trouble. Kashakian turning him all sorts of different ways here with big rights and lefts. Referee Larry Landis seemed to have made his mind up when Morales was on the fence. Well, he went for a desperation takedown and he basically got driven face first into the canvas and that was it. Got Bulldog down. What a performance. But Manuk, if only Kashakian could have taken a couple pounds off going into that way. Yeah, absolutely. The first round, ebb and flow. The fight was beautiful. Kasakia got clipped as well. Got a bloody nose, but he came back strong. Beautiful performance fighting out of the Glendale Fighting Club, once home to Ronda Rousey. And here we have another first round finish for her fellow stablemate. Absolutely, and Jonathan with the dawning of Lights Out Extreme Fighting. We knew we'd be making a lot of championship history, but in the Bantamweight division, that's going to have to wait. The title will remain vacant. But for how long? With performances like that, the only thing Kashakian has to do is win the battle with the scale. Once he can overcome that issue, he's going to find himself right back in title contention in the lights out bantamweight division. What a battle. Morales was willing to stand and trade with a lethal striker in Kashakian, who adds a ninth knockout victory and a seventh in the first round. Let's take it back to the cage. Burbank, the time, three minutes, 58 seconds. Round number one for the winner by way of KO from Glendale, California, Alfred the Fearless Kashakian. All right, real quickly, Optimum First Mortgage is in here to present the belt, but the LXF Bantamweight title was set at a contract weight of 135 pounds. Alfred weighed in over the official allowable weight. Therefore, he will not be declared the new champion and will be set as the number one challenger in the LXF Bantamweight division. So Alfred, three pounds stood between you and the belt. How soon can this next fight come as you'll be the number one challenger? I don't know, right now I'm too happy to think about it, but first of all, I wanna thank God for this opportunity. And my hat's off, goes to, uh, hat goes off to Albert. He accepted a fight even though I was overweight. But I was willing to cut that three pounds for the record, but the commission didn't let me. I just ran out of time. I was gonna make the 135 weight, but they said I couldn't be over once I stepped on the scale. But I was ready, I could make 135 no problem. So we can do it again if we have to, you know. I'll check the, with my manager and my team see if we want to do it again or see what's up, what's up next, you know. Seven knockouts for you now in the first round for your fights, nine victories. How did it feel in the first round to get out early? It feels good, you know, you just go back to the gym Monday, ready for the next war, you know. Albert was a good fighter, he threw some nasty punches himself. I can feel it in my eye, but, you know, we're ready. We do this all day, so 
Let's go. Looking forward to that war as you will be the number one ranked fighter in the Bantamweight division for Lights Out Extreme Fighting. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.